Young people use quarters for laundry? Ew. Fuck that. Um, Why don't they just buy new clothes? True. Wait, what is that? Hold on. <laughs> this commercial looked hardcore. <laughs> Democrats like to say that no one needs an AR-15 for self-defense. That no one could possibly need all 30 rounds. But when this rifle is the only thing standing between your family... <sighs> And a dozen angry Democrats in clan hoods. Oh man. You just might need that semi automatic. And all 30 rounds. Democrats, the true Klansmen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why are we pretending that Democrats are going to be the Klansmen? People are saying, the original KKK were Democrats. Yeah, bro. What do you think? Look at where the states where these people came from. Look at where the blue states used to be. Do you really think that... What happened with that? I always hear that, like the Republicans and Democrats swap. Um, I don't know if swapped is accurate, but like just the positions of both political parties um, changed pretty rapidly through, I think it was like through the 60s and 70s. Um, people will always say that like, oh no, that was the Democrats then and they're the same Democrats now. But like, if you look at the map of like, which states were red and which states were blue, it basically swapped like completely, yeah. My parents always say like, the Republicans were the party of Clinton. Uh, Clinton uh, Lincoln, Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, Lincoln, says. yes. Not, <laughs> not, not Clinton. Definitely not Clinton. Definitely. <laughs> Bodega Bro, you sorry. That was mean. Bodega Bro is the epitome of everything white people do wrong on a daily basis. It's actually so cringe. These types of articles are so cringe. Like Where's imagine Bodega Bro. This it's actually so sad. So this kid from fucking Ohio, sub very Oh, you told me about this guy. Oh okay, yeah. Very guy. suburban kid goes to New York, has no idea what he's doing. He's like looking for like a Kroger in the Bronx, like wearing an NAACP shirt to the gym. It's <laughs> just like cuz he's like they're all black and I want to be like one of them or I want them to think good of me. And then like people basically find this dude's TikTok. He didn't say anything bad really at all. People find this guy's TikTok and they blow him the fuck up on Twitter and tag his employer and get him banned. It's like unbelievable. It's obvious that Mom my Justice, hands are yo. cold. It's obvious that my hands are cold. I'm so curious. Now the that one, some black lady emailed me and now she has me ultra fucking Obama. paranoid versus like how many black people that are writing articles are in media. How many of them are like black American, like African Americans versus how many of them are fucking immigrants <laughs> because the lived experience is totally different. I'm really curious. Are, are normal, are normal like, in the Bronx, black people like watching a guy like this and are getting like super mad? Or is it like black kids that go to like some UC school across the country or like immigrants or whatever that are looking at it and getting like super. What do you mean normal? Normal what? Hmm? You said normal black people. What do you mean? There's like, so <clears throat> a black woman emailed me a while ago and she said, when you talk to black people on stream, or when you have like black people that are getting like representation in media, none of these people are like descendants of slaves, African Americans living like the black African American experience. All of them are usually like upper class, very wealthy immigrants that come from other countries, or people that are like super privileged. It's kind of like a different like class of, of people. Uh, and that was interesting. And she said, you need to start asking people if they're, if they're immigrants or not. It's not, it's not fair, but yeah, I don't know if that was funny. It's like, okay. Doesn't listen because I was trolling. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sorry. Not. <Nah. laughs> fucking got him. <clears throat> I almost did it. Microsoft needs to hire like five of the fucking mod pack people and just bring them over. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's all they need to do. What do you mean by that? This game needs some more fresh shit. When are you gonna... When am I gonna what, Mooton? What? Watch the uh, Thor movie. I don't know. Now I'm hearing people say it's really bad. 
Which one? The new one. What do you mean? Which one? I the haven't seen how they. The new one's not even out. Oh wait, really? <laughs> how are they even seeing it? Yeah. What is it called? Love and Thunder. Yeah, it might be out tomorrow. Oh, people are saying just the reviews are bad. Oh, I don't know that damn. The things you do are highly offensive. Are you, what is highly offensive? What a precious snowflake of a fucking article. Green made another video trashing the apartment he's staying in. <laughs> like, come on, dude. What was the, did, was he trashing it? Yeah, he said it was a shithole, but who cares? Like, <laughs> what? it probably was. Fuck it. An apartment in the Bronx? Like, what? Like, is that really that unheard of? Obviously, white privilege and entitlement have made Green completely unaware that there's such a thing as food deserts, and the Bronx is clearly one of them. If the Bronx is a food desert, how is desert, the Bronx a food desert? Well, probably because there might be. I actually, I don't even know. I don't know. It's a fucking major city. Well. A food desert food desert means that there's not like high quality food available like fruits and vegetables within like a pretty wide range no yeah but i don't know is my fucking roommate's kitchen a food desert because he doesn't have any veggies in there that's what they would say but i don't know if there are like um i have no I, i've only been in the bronx one time with my own a long time ago i don't know if there are like grocery stores in the bronx i have no idea i'd imagine there are but i have no idea it's fucking new york <clears throat> I don't believe that for a second. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to bet there's probably groceries. I just have no idea. I, I can't speak for it because I haven't been there. But Casual racism in his videos about his new neighborhood. In one of them, he wears an NAACP shirt, so these people will be cool with him or some crap like that. And it's like, what? Come on, dude. You're really going to fucking pearl clutch at this? How fucking fragile are you? We live in two different Americas right now. If you go to his Twitter account and follow any of the conversation threads where he discusses this, you'll see two crowds of people. The white people who believe he's been totally wrong and the black people trying to explain him where he messed up. Bro, I'm pretty sure the person that outed this guy was a fucking furry on Twitter with a fucking furry anime avatar. Do you think that, do you think the person behind that avatar is black or white? Come on. Oh, and she is from fucking L.A. <laughs> I'm sorry. Monique Judge is a storyteller, content creator, and writer living in Los Angeles. And, and writer living... Wait, I'm so confused. Monique Judge is a storyteller, comma, content creator, oh, no wow. comma, and writer living in Los Angeles. She is a word nerd who is a fan of the Oxford comma, why didn't she have the Oxford comma right here then? <laughs> Probably the joke. Well, but she does in the next one. She is a word nerd who is a fan of the Oxford comma, comma, spends way too much time on Twitter, Oxford comma, and has more graphic t-shirts than you. You're too old, Boomer. <laughs> You're losing it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Everyone's saying that's the joke. Okay. Bodega, bro. Fun. Wait, what does he have? A GoFundMe? <laughs> Steve's about to drop 10K on him. <laughs> Look, he's raised $11,000. Good job. Something that I mentioned on stream, the thing that sucks is that, like, um,. You don't have like the opportunity to like learn anything anymore. Like I'm pretty sure this guy, if, th if this dude's from the Midwest, he's probably getting a dramatic fucking culture shock. Oh, you can pray? Um, a dramatic culture shock. But I bet like in a year, he's going to have learned like a ton of shit. And he'll probably look back and laugh at like how stupid his early TikToks were. He's like, holy shit, like I didn't know where any girl, I didn't know how to take the subway, I didn't know anything, blah, blah, blah. But, um, but now you can't, now he can't, now that opportunity is gone.
Now he's going to be like ultra fucking void pilled. Oh, Jesus. What are you going to do, Moot? Do you guys have, do you have normal Red Bull downstairs? Um. God, you're such a fucking loser. I have the, I have a ton of the peach ones. Uh, you want one. No. I have so many. No. Okay. But I don't want to hear you bitching about the peach one. <laughs> That's the, that, if I give you one, you can't complain. Absolutely can't bitch not. bitch about it at all. All right. For being honest, he probably was just making funny TikToks. Yeah, maybe. He made one about, I think he was walking down the street and he was like, is everyone in New York gay? <laughs> but it's because he was like right next to like one of the largest like gay pride festivals like in the fucking world I think was going on, but. It's a funny meme. What do you mean by that? If a comedian did that, people would, well, people would probably laugh about it. Jesus Christ. How many do you want? You want like two? So you have another? Sure. Yeah. So that I can throw the second one away. Bring them both. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off.